ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಗಳು ಅಂದರೆ ದೇವರಿಗೆ ಸರಿಸಮಾನಾಗಿ ಹೋಲುವಂತಹ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿಯನ್ನ ದೇವರು ಹೇಗೆ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾನೋ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಕ್ಕೂ ಒಂದು ರೂಪ ಕೊಡುವವರು ವಿಜ್ಞಾನಿಗಳು ಮನುಷ್ಯನ ರಚನೆ ಆ ದೇವರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಮನುಷ್ಯನಿಗೆ ರೋಗದಿಂದ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಹೊಂದಲು ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರಗಳನ್ನ ವೈದ್ಯರು ರಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಜಗತ್ತು ಬದಲಾದಂತೆ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳು ಕಂಡುಬರುತ್ತೆ ನಿರಂತರವಾಗಿ ಆವಿಷ್ಕಾರಗಳು ನಡೆಯುತ್ತೆ ಅದೇ ರೀತಿಯಾಗಿ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲರ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಹೊಸ ಆವಿಷ್ಕಾರದ ವಿಚಾರ ಸಂಕಿರಣ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ನಡೆಯಿತು ಇದೇ ಈ ಹೊತ್ತಿನ ವಿಶೇಷ ನಾನು ಕವಿತಾ ಮಾಣಿ ಕರಾವಳಿ ಎಂದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನೆನಪಾಗುವುದು ಉತ್ತಮ ರೀತಿಯಾದಂತಹ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಸೌಲಭ್ಯಗಳು ಸಿಗುವಂತಹ ಜಿಲ್ಲೆ ಎಂದು ಅದರಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದ ಸಂಶೋಧನೆಗಳು ಆವಿಷ್ಕಾರಗಳನ್ನು ನಿರಂತರವಾಗಿ ಅಳವಡಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ತಾ ರೋಗಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಉತ್ಕೃಷ್ಟ ದರ್ಜೆಯ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಸೇವೆಯನ್ನು ನೀಡ್ತಾ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಇಂತಹ ವೈದ್ಯಕೀಯ ಸೇವೆಗಳನ್ನ ನೀಡ್ತಾ ಜನರ ಮೆಚ್ಚುಗೆಗೆ ಪಾತ್ರವಾಗಿರುವಂತಹ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜು ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಂಕಾಲಜಿ ಮತ್ತು ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಬ್ರಾಕಿಥೆರಫಿ ಸೊಸೈಟಿ ವತಿಯಿಂದ ಒಂಬತ್ತನೇ ವಾರ್ಷಿಕ ಸಮ್ಮೇಳನವು ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆಯಿತು ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ರೇಡಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆಂಕಾಲಜಿ ವಿಭಾಗ ಮತ್ತು ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಪ್ರಾಕಿಥೆರಪಿ ಸೊಸೈಟಿಯ ಸಹಯೋಗದಲ್ಲಿ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಲೈಬ್ರರಿ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ನ ಡೆಸಿನಿಯಲ್ ಮೆಮೋರಿಯಲ್ ಹಾಲ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಐಪಿಎಸ್ ಕಾನ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ನೈನ್ಟೀನ್ ವಿಚಾರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ಣ ನಡೆಯಿತು ಪ್ರಾಕಿಥೆರಪಿ ಸೊಸೈಟಿಯ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷರಾದ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲ್ ಭಲವತ್ ಅವರು ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಕ್ಷಿಪ್ರ ಅವಧಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವನ್ನು ಸಂಘಟಿಸಿದ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯನ್ನು ಅಭಿನಂದಿಸಿದರು two thousand nineteen. It was around the two th- early two thousand and two thousand fifteen Indian Deputy Therapy Society was formed in Chennai situation. Today I, we have I mean, our guest to extend warm welcome to our chair, uh, director Father Miller's Tractor Institution Fa- Reverend Father Richard Coelho, the director of for Mm, being your guide and constant support. When I told him we are conducting this conference, he was very happy and very welcoming to us and said he will render all the support, whatever is needed. Thank you very much, Father. <laughs> we have amidst us Dr. Christine Haig-Meja, who is a renowned gynecological oncologist, uh, radiation oncologist and a very much dedicated to brachytherapy. She was heading the department of brachytherapy in Gustav Rossi Institute of Oncology, which is supposed to be one of the best oncology centers in Europe, as well as um, other countries. And we are fortunate to have you, Madam Pia. And uh, she has a lot of experience in brachytherapy, and she is in various com- expert committees in all over the world. Thank you. and we welcome the party for today's meeting. We have, I think, we have become a hub of brachytherapy like Dr. Balabha. He is a renowned radiation oncologist who works in a, a Tata hospital for a long time, nearly 35 to 40 years, retired, and now he is working 
in Jupiter Hospital and San Francisco Radiation Oncology. He is also the President of Indian Society of Radiotherapy. I welcome you here for the presentation. <coughs> Dr. Umesh Man Sethi needs no introduction to most of the radiotherapy or radiation oncologists in India. She is a very efficient radiation oncologist who travels all over the world giving lectures on brachytherapy and uh, highly knowledgeable and very friendly gentleman. When he asked me whether he can conduct the conference here, I was slightly hesitant because it was only five to six weeks gap for us. But thanks to our colleagues who said that we can do it, sir, conduct it here, sir, and also support from the college, we have come here. And I welcome you all to welcome you today for this now conference. I welcome Reverend Father Rudolf Ravi Gisa, Administrator of Father Miller's Medical College Hospital for inspiring and motivating us. Thanks. I welcome Reverend Father Ajit Menezes, the Administrator of Father Miller Medical College for walking us through thick and thin during the initializing phase of the event. I welcome you. I welcome Dr. Jayaprakash Alba, the Dean of Padamula Medical College, for his inputs on academic and interactive sessions and uh, for the sake. I welcome you, Dr. Alba. <laughs> and I welcome Dr. Jairam Shetty, Professor of and the Department of KSHD Hospital Medical College. Uh, for, as he has come as a famous observer, I would like to tell him he is one of my students who is here. I welcome you, sir. I, I extend my warm welcome to Dr. Donald, who is head of the Department of British uh, Oncology here. And we, we both worked nearly 35 years together in uh, Manipal. Now again we are together here. I welcome you, sir. And I will be failing in my duty if I don't welcome all the other dignitaries, special invitees for this inaugural function. And most important of all, and uh, that is the faculty and the delegates. And I request all the delegates to participate actually, actively, ask questions, clear your doubts. That is why we have this conference. I want you to actively participate and the faculty is always there to help you out with clear all the doubts. Please do that. And I welcome you all for today's function. To welcome Dr. Kusin with a bouquet. I request Reverend Father Ajit Manishan to present a bouquet to Dr. Balar. President of Indian Department of Education Authority to present a bouquet to Dr. Umit Man Sethi. I request Dr. Akiyaman to present the bouquet to Dr. Vera. <laughs> so I finally conclude because I thought I forgot to welcome media person to I have all welcome to them. I will finally conclude with the words of the great British statesman Winston Churchill. I am always ready to learn, although I do not always like to be taught. Thank you. Karakramavanu Paris na Gustav Rousey Institute na kya tawaitye Dr. Christian Hay Meder avaru deepa balagi swamula ka udkhati sitro. बड़ी का मात्रा डिटा अवरु भारत दली इन तहाँ वंदु कार्यक्रम दली पाल कोडों दके अत्यंत संत सबाक दे। ब्राकी तरफी क्षेत्र दली इन दिन अधिन गड़ली साक्ष्यतु समशोधने कडू नारियों It's 
always a great pleasure, and today it's a great honor to be here. When I looked at the program of your meeting, it reminds me of the beginning of the Jack, before it was Jack as true. It was a group European with pure therapy and it started in France. And I can find the same spirit, the same enthusiasm as we had at that time. You know that since, now, since then, Jack became Jack Astro and has grown a lot since uh, the 80s. So I just wish you the same future as we had with Jack. And I'm sure you will reach this when I look at your investment in Rapper. So again, thank you very much for your invitation. I'm very happy to share this meeting with you. On the dais and of the dais, I thank you, the organizer, team and the father of this college administration giving in the shortest uh, possible time to accept the invitation to organize us Breaky Therapy Conference. We the Breaky Therapy Association as Dr. Vidya Sagar has told, we started around 15 years before and we have been regularly working for the last five years with the three workshops and one conferences. Let me tell you, in, in this country, we have the squamous carcinoma the maximum and head and neck and cervix is the best thing that one can have a brachytherapy and I expect that the brachytherapy and the brachytherapy team will go to the extent to give the work to the brachytherapy as it is required. Thank you. Father Muller Medical College na Medical Superintendent Dr. Uday Kumar Matanadi Hina Sanki Ali with Yartikalu Hago, Yuachilate Haga Vesirudu, Santa Satan de Indu Helitro. Friends and delegates, it's a pleasure to be here at Father Muller Medical College for this uh, ninth edition of the uh, Indian Medical uh, Society Conference. I know it's the meeting. And as Christine said, we are all quite enthusiastic and she's matches us with uh, Jack so it's an honor to really get that statement from you. Well, India Battle Society, as mentioned by Dr. Uh, Vidya Sagar, started in 2005, but I don't want to uh, give you a long story. What I can say is, we are in a teen age, IBS is in a teen age, and people who have teenagers, they know how difficult it is to maintain the teenage uh, uh, person as an organization. So, but nevertheless, I think as Dr. Balad said, we have done very well in the last five years. We have probably the largest number of members in uh, practical society across various nations. So we have roughly around 470 now members uh, of uh, Indian Practical Therapy Society. And the Credit goes to a lot of active members who are there the, uh, in the audience as well as the dais. And I'm sure, as I see today in this uh, hall, we see more and more youngsters coming for this conference. And we are really excited. We had a very wonderful workshop yesterday afternoon where 75 uh, more or less students were there. And we foresee more and more enthusiasm in, uh, in the field of practicality and I hope we keep up uh, to the words of Dr. Christine Major that we really should excel in the field of practicality which is a need of the hour in our country where the majority of cancers can be treated with practicality. Thank you.
ಈ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದ ಅಧ್ಯಕ್ಷತೆಯನ್ನು ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಚಾರಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ಸ್ ನ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರಾದ ರೆವರೆಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ರಿಚರ್ಡ್ ಅಲೋಷಿಯಸ್ ಕುವೆಲ್ಲೋ ಅವರು ಮಾತನಾಡಿ ಇಂತಹ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ವಿಚಾರ ಸಂಕಿರಣವನ್ನು ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಆಯೋಜಿಸಿರುವುದಕ್ಕೆ ನಮಗೆ ಹೆಮ್ಮೆಯಾಗ್ತಿದೆ ಕಲಿಯುವುದು ಮತ್ತು ಕಲಿಸುವುದು ಇವೆರಡೂ ಕೂಡ ನನಗೆ ಅತ್ಯಂತ ಸಂತೋಷವನ್ನು ತಂದುಕೊಡುವ ವಿಚಾರ ಅವೆರಡೂ ಕೂಡ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆಯುತ್ತಿರುವುದು ಸಂತಸದಾಯಕ ವಿಚಾರ ಎಂದು ಹೇಳಿದರು Dr. Balavat, our guest of honor, Dr. Umesh, James Yogarwar, Administrators, Dean, S.O.D., Professor Kiyasagar, and dear delegates. Since everyone has spoken very short, I am also given a signal to be very very short because session has to go on later. But to go back a little, when Dr. Hashim, our former head of the Department of Radiation Oncology, uh, came and requested to hold this uh, Rakitherapy Conference, my National Rakitherapy Conference here in Mangalore, in our medical college. And I was uh, really surprised. because this is a national conference you want to organize a cme or a workshop it takes 2 to 3 months preparation and for a national conference definitely uh, nearly 6 months or 4 to 6 months are required then i expressed my doubt to him whether delegates will come whether we will be able to contact and uh, whether it will be a successful one then he said we try our best and uh, uh, certainly there will be delegates and there also for three days certainly eminent uh, pre-therapists or oncologists, special radiation oncologists will be here for this conference to deliberate, to share their experience with the postgraduates and other junior faculty. Well, we are grateful for this uh, pre-therapy society Indian Medical Society for choosing Paramula Medical College in Mangalore and we are extremely delighted to host this program for these three days. I am surely that will take place here today and tomorrow and I wish each and every one of you all the best and grateful to the Medical Society of India for choosing Paramula and giving us this opportunity ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜು ಮತ್ತು ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ ನ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ರೆವರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾದರ್ ರುಡಾಲ್ಫ್ ರವಿಡೇಸ ಸಹಾಯಕ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ರೆವರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾದರ್ ನೆಲ್ಸನ್ ಡಿ ಪಾಯಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಮುಲ್ಲರ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಿನ ಆಡಳಿತಾಧಿಕಾರಿ ರೆವರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಅಜಿತ್ ಬಿ ಮೆನೇಜರ್ಸ್ ಡೀನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜಯಪ್ರಕಾಶ್ ಆಳ್ವ ಸಂಶೋಧನಾ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಂಜೀವ್ ರೈ ಮತ್ತಿತರರು ಉಪಸ್ಥಿತರಿದ್ದರು I would like to thank Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Kodro, our Director, Father Muller Charitable Institution for his constant support and advice throughout this period and for encouraging us to conduct this program. Thank you Father. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our Chief Guest, Dr. Christian Hermander, for readily accepting the address invitation to be the keynote speaker for the event and travel all the way from Paris to be here. I also thank her for accepting to be the chief guest of this inauguration function. Uh, she has received the prestigious History of Radium Award 2019 this year. Thank you. <laughs> My heartfelt gratitude to Dr. R.N. Balar, President of Indian Practical Society and our guest of honor for not only accepting our events of time here, but also for being there for us and providing all the support from my guests to conduct the conference. Thank you, sir. I'd like to thank 
Nirman Pagal 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 Jisa are administrator of Palamara Medical College Hospital for his willingness to fulfill every need for the growth and development of our department. Thank you for that. I would like to express my sincere thanks to Reverend for the Adit Manitas, our administrator, Father Buddha Medical College for his constant support and guidance, especially the academic team. Thank you for it. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to our Dr. Omesh Mahansethi, uh, Secretary of the Indian Medical Society for not only providing us an opportunity to host even, but also motivating, guiding, advising and all the aspects during the past two months and being the troubleshooter all along. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> our sincere gratitude to our dean, Dr. Jay Prakash Adwa, for being a perfect leader for all of us and providing us with all the necessary help and support from the college. Thank you, sir. I'd like to thank Dr. Jaram Shetty, Professor in Health Department of Radiation Oncology, Shema Mango, for being the KMC observer for the event. Thank you, sir. I'm also very grateful to Dr. M.S. Vidyasagar, to whom we all look upon for wisdom, judgment, and foresight for all the endeavors. Thank you, sir. My heartfelt gratitude to Dr. Donald Fernandez, HR, for his constant inputs and valuable suggestions on our own. Thank you, sir. A special mention of gratitude to Dr. Hasid, our former head of the department for his support, assistant, advice, backing for all the department activities. Thank you very much. I would like to thank Reverend Father Nelson Paz, our assistant administrator for the Medical College, College Hospital for all his support. Thank you for it. A special mention of gratitude to Dr. Sanjeev Rai, our chief of research. Dr. Pankaj Othar Kumar, our Vice Dean, for all the, the help and support and for taking out time to be a part of our celebration. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. I extend my gratitude to our esteemed guests, nursing superintendent, HODs, and staff of various departments for accepting our invitation to be part of this function. My heartfelt gratitude to all the distinguished speakers for raising your important work and demonstrating and sharing the knowledge with us. Thank you, sir. I have been fortunate enough to be backed by a team of motivated, very motivated and dedicated colleagues of our department. Dr. Sandesh, Dr. Sharas Chandra, Dr. Mosina, Dr. Shiva, Mr. Shridhar, Mr. Sevi, Ms. Amrita, Mr. Sanjay Kambe and all our postgraduates, technologists and BSc RT technology students and all the radiation department support staff for their help in making this event a success. I would also like to thank our supporting sponsors, ADI Medical Systems, Sibla Oncology, Intense Oncology, Merck Oncology, GSK Holics, about nutrition for their general support. I say thanks to Shark Stevens of Promos for setting up the stalls and combo characters. A special and most important thanks to the press and the media, E4, Manual News, Benji World, Four Minutes Media, for covering the today's events.
ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಚಾರಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಷನ್ ನಿರ್ದೇಶಕರಾದ ರೆವರೆಂಡ್ ಫಾದರ್ ರಿಚರ್ಡ್ ಅಲೋಶಿಯಸ್ ಕುವೆಲ್ಲೋ ಅವರು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಕ್ರಿಸ್ಟಿನ್ ಹೇಮ್ ಮೇಡರ್ ಸಹಿತ ಗಣ್ಯ ಅತಿಥಿಗಳಿಗೆ ಸ್ಮರಣಿಕೆಗಳನ್ನು ನೀಡಿ ಗೌರವಿಸಿದರು ಬ್ರಾಕೆತೆರಫಿ ಕ್ಷೇತ್ರದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಾಕಷ್ಟು ಉನ್ನತ ರೀತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಭಾರತದಾತ್ಯಂತ ಮುನ್ನುಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಆ ಕುರಿತಾಗಿ ನಡೆದಂತಹ ಒಂದು ವಿಚಾರ ಸಂಕಿರಣದ ಮುಂದಿನ ಭಾಗ ಇದೀಗ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮುಂದೆ If you go and Google her, you will get a lot of better publications in other sites than Gaini. And the reason why I say that is, in other sites, which includes, let's say, pediatric tumors, penile cancers, pioneers in coming up with various recommendations, and I'll show you one of them. Now she is superannuated from uh, Institute of Distabulacy, but still she is a consultant in brachytherapy service for the same institution, but she is moved. surprisingly to a private hospital which we never imagined dr christine made her going to a private clinic and doing brachytherapy so now she is in a center called as the amethyst center in paris and uh, she is also a consultant still in a brachytherapy service in institute of stabulus christine is again here in this at the background again but then the lower two slides are very important and i the, the impression i got was she's trying to learn hindi now because she's visiting india quite often so she, you can see in every photograph she's always smiling and that's the character of dr christine hamilton and the reason why i'm saying this is she's down to earth approachable to anybody and everybody she now a couple of months back and i know that she was represented and I'm aware that she was refusing this for a couple of years now, but then since she retired officially as head, I think she accepted it. I don't know the story behind it, but ladies and gentlemen, please uh, join me to uh, invite Dr. Christine Avedar for the keynote address. Thank you. I moved to this uh, private practice and the uh, <coughs> issue of that they asked me to implement bracket therapy in uh, this private practice so I had to move from PDR to HDR which is in France quite surprising so now I need Umesh advices to, to go on and to uh, do my job uh, as good as I can so thank you Umesh for you as well so <clears throat> I, when uh, I was asked some uh, days ago to come to Bangalore, I was just wondering what could be the topic of this keynote lecture. And I decided to uh, do a presentation on the clinical relevance of brachytherapy in the global oncological landscape. And uh, <clears throat> this presentation will be based on a very recent paper that we were able to publish. You see, it, it's not yesterday, like uh, the Indian recommendations, but it's, it was last month. And uh, <clears throat> this uh, paper was uh, submitted uh, to, this, uh, to this journal, and uh, the interest of that Uh, that it was a kind of recognition of brachytherapy from the overall landscape of uh, oncology. And uh, the impact factor of this journal is 220. So it was quite a, a, a thing to, to have this paper accepted. And this, the story behind this paper was when we submitted it, we got an answer saying that it was rejected. And why was that? It was rejected because the reviewers said, why are you talking about brachytherapy? Brachytherapy is over. 
Now we have a lot of other alternatives. We have stereotactic radiotherapy, we have IMRT. So why are you talking about brachytherapy? And <clears throat> so we said that we will not fail with this type of arguments. So point by point, we send back answers stating what is the real role of brachytherapy and they eventually admitted that we were right and the paper was finally um, <clears throat> accepted. So I'm just telling the story just because we are a brachytherapy community and we know that we will have to fight this type of argument. So be prepared in the future to fight this type of arguments. But with arguments, and you see that we can come up with a, a good things for which was conducted by uh, Jack Estro people uh, in the early stage and in uh, low risk breast cancer after lifted surgery, the uh, brachytherapy did as well as uh, um, cool breast irradiation and there is also uh, this non-inferiority of adjuvant brachytherapy for the five local control and disease-free survival and overall survival. In prostate uh, cancer as well, brachytherapy is uh, a therapeutic option as a sole brachytherapy, LDR and maybe also HDR nowadays in the very low risk patients in low risk patients with uh, expected survival of more than 10 years and in favorable uh, intermediate uh, risk patients uh, with uh, the, um, uh, <coughs> the factors which are listed here. So brachytherapy has become really uh, a, a treatment which, is, which can be recommended in these specific sites and you see that in prostate, prostate boosting also has been uh, initiated as a therapeutic uh, option uh, complementary to external irradiation <coughs> in these high risk group patients or infavorable intermediate risk patients. <coughs> so, as I mentioned before, the brachytherapy indications are also um, can be also recommended in some non-evidence-based medicine, but based on a retrospective analysis. And this refers to two papers that were published recently published in, uh, from our institution using brachytherapy for pineal cancer and with more than 150 patients now we were able to show that uh, with brachytherapy which was performed after circumcision and now with a grown sentinel node grown exploration we would come up with a five-year probability of local control as a high as 82 percent with a five-year probability of penis preservation of 85 percent and three quarters of the, the local relapse were salvaged by surgery some of them being limited uh, surgery urethral stenosis and painful ulceration requiring limited surgery was seven percent and in the recent years by knowing more about the limitation in terms of treated volume and vicinity of the urethra, we were able to, uh, to decrease this risk of complications, especially in terms of urethral stenosis. And we come up with the conclusion that the bladder part of the tumor could be treated with a surgery and you see here the tumor, a small residue, after the uh, uh, initial uh, 
mm. chemotherapy, but this residue could be treated with surgery while the prostate part could be treated with brachytherapy. And this concept is not that trivial when you are talking about uh, uh, oncological treatment. Because, for instance, when we present these results to the American Society of Pediatrics, they really are reluctant to use this type of combination which will not provide easier margins. But again, this is an example of, on how we can, together with other specialists, combine this brachytherapy approach. And you see that we, until uh, 2015, treated 100 patients. And now we, are, we have more than 115 patients already treated with this combined approach of surgery and brachytherapy. And you see the results here. The overall survival is 94% and the even free survival is 88%. And what we also learned, and this was quite recently discovered, is with the improvement of brachytherapy and with a more systematic use of MRI and CT scan, we discovered with this brachytherapy approach that the dose to the testes was quite high. So it was decided and Elaine Martelly was at the origin of this uh, process. We decided to do a testis transposition, a transient testis transposition during the time of brachytherapy. And you have here an example of this testis transposition dividing the dose by the time. So, what is the future of brachytherapy? You know that we are more and more talking about uh, tumor and blood biomarkers, and the, one of the, uh, the aims of treatment in oncology, and you've probably all heard about that, is personalization to individual patients and tumor characteristics. And this biomarker, uh, this new concept of biomarkers, uh, can reveal intrinsic radio sensitivity. And we also know that tumor microenvironment physiology can guide the treatment, the way we are giving the treatment. So far, actually, there is no independently validated specific blood or tumor biomarker for brachytherapy. However, there are some areas which can be used to more personalize uh, the treatment and for instance tumor volumetric reduction after concomitant tumor radiation in service cancer can be used to optimize boost the dose and to choose the level of dose and Umesh already mentioned that during the discussion and we have a rational to increase the dose in poor responding patients. We nowadays also have a kind of indirect uh, um, markers and for instance a tumor related leukocytosis in cervical cancer is a distant entity showing the radio resistant features of, of the tumor and this also can be uh, used to guide the, the dose and we also have some marker in a prostate cancer this patient with positive nuclear staining or DNA dependent protein chemos associated with a poor outcome. There are also some uh, questions, and we also saw that uh, this morning with this very high level of local control, what is the next 
that especially in the uh, locally advanced cervical cancer, we saw that even in state 3B, we can reach a local control of 90%, but still the survival of these patients remain poor. Why is it bad? It's because now these patients are developing metastasis. So what is the role of chemotherapy? And there are at the moment some randomized trials. In endometrial cancer, uh, as I mentioned before, we now have some molecular integrated risk profiles and this will probably more target the brachytherapy indications and brachytherapy can be combined with immunomodulatory drugs to activate antitumor immunity. And just uh, quickly to, to, um, to conclude, we know that uh, there are some specificities of uh, in brachytherapy because there is some heterogeneity in irradiation exposure. There are a large range of doses to tumor cells and of course tumor cells which are very close to the radioactive source receive a much higher dose than the tumor which is to the periphery of uh, the radioactive source. In this situation of brachytherapy, lymph nodes irradiation is avoided, and this is uh, relevant in the radio, in the, uh, the, the context of radio immunotherapy to potentiate uh, the initiation of tumor immune response. And the low integral body doses decrease, and this can minimize immunosuppression. And with a brachytherapy, usually these tumors are accessible to, uh, to several viruses and to do some histopathological correlation. And we have at the moment the phase 1 2 trial using uh, immunomodulatory potential of brachytherapy with the uh, immune check inhibitors being atezolac, which has been just started in our institution. There are also um, some progresses in modern imaging, especially in functional imaging, which represent an opportunity to improve brachytherapy with dynamic contrast and MRI, with, which, is, which represent a nice approach being non-invasive to more uh, select uh, these the different types of tumors which can be met and this is just an example of multi-parametric MRI which use different sequences with a, a different acquisition which represent a good perspective for functional tumor imaging and focal treatment guidance. So to just to conclude I I hope that I have assured you that there is a high level of evidence for brachytherapy in numerous clinical situations. Brachytherapy still has its place in the global oncological landscape and there are wide ranges of specialties involved in the brachytherapy process and I think that to include other specialists is also a good way to sensitize uh, other yes, people such as surgeons, such as medical oncologists to brachytherapy and there are really efforts which have been made to bring brachytherapy to the highest level of modernity to improve the, 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 the results in terms of local control and probably the future of brachytherapy should include personalized tools uh, which are already or which will be used in medical uh, oncology. And the uh, uh, excellent cost effectiveness should encourage healthcare systems and maybe to propose better reimbursement. And so that's, I think it's a good reason to continue 
education and teaching. And just to really finish, to, sorry. Uh, um, when I was, uh, when I received this award in uh, Estro, I gave a presentation on the role of women in brachytherapy. And at the end of the talk, some nice Indian people told me, wow, you missed somebody. You missed Dr. Dingsho. And this was true. And it's always the risk when you do a kind of uh, a presentation of different women. You always have the risk of missing somebody. And I, I felt very sorry to have missed Dr. Dingsho because I had the chance to uh, meet her. We share a session uh, some years ago at an Estro meeting, I remember it was in Edinburgh, and we had a very nice discussion and she would believe so much in the brachytherapy, especially in cervix cancer. So I really apologize for missing her and I wanted to mention her today. So I thank you very much for your attention. Yes, Vikshakre. Why the Kiak Shetra the Lee, Tan the Yadari Tialik Shetra Mundubari Sikundo, Hogo Drachu Tiki? Why the Kiak Shetra the Lee, Parata, Apuratiata Munuktaida? Idu, Father Muller Medical College in our Radiation Oncology Matu, Indian Bracketrophy Society Vatinda, Omatane Vashika Samil and Akarikrama. Idu, E. Hutina Vishesha, Nirantara Sudima Hiti Manurin Janigagi Nurtai before news. Munudi, Munadegaki.